What is happening everybody? Samuel here for Morning Harvest. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into this video. Today in this video I am working on a fence as you guys can see uh, from the background. I've been working on it for the past couple days. I haven't um, done the intro for the video that I'm filming now. I just wanted to get a head start on the fencing. I didn't have a whole lot of time on uh, the other days to really talk and do the intro for the video so that's why I'm back here today and that's why you see some fencing up. We will rewind and go back to the front of the video because um, I did start on this fencing, I uh, filmed the whole thing, so we're going to get right to work. Alright, as you can see, today is just a beautiful morning, so glad to be back uh, vlogging again. It's been almost two weeks since I put a vlog, vlog out, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, but So I have my tape strung out here at about 20 feet. I have this tree here that's in the way of putting a T-post in, so I'm not sure if I'm going to put a gate actually right up next to the barn there or put, try to put a T-post in down by the tree. So I'm just going to skip that T-post for now, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to the 20-foot mark for the T-post. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm making these T-posts at 10 feet apart. And uh, another, by the way, these T-posts are slowly put tall. But I am putting them two feet in the ground just because I'm trying to keep out deer and rabbits. Rabbits can knock a fence over, but if they get shocked by the electrical and they try to jump into it, I don't want my fences to fall over. So putting, them, putting the T-posts two feet in the ground, which makes them six feet out of the ground, so I'm going to have a six-foot fence. So that's what I'm working on this morning. I'm going to go ahead and start working on putting this T-post in here at the 20-foot mark, and I'm just going to work my way down to the edge of the greenhouse. So down here at the edge of the greenhouse, uh, I'm going to focus off of myself here just a minute. Down here at the edge of the greenhouse, we're going to come up, and then I'm going to go, I'm not going to meet at the edge of the greenhouse there. I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap around the greenhouse so I can walk behind the greenhouse, get a wheelbarrow behind the greenhouse. If I need to, I don't want to be able, I don't want to have to walk through the greenhouse to get to another part of the garden. So that's my, that's my plan. I'm going to make the fence at least maybe four foot off the back of the greenhouse there. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the 20 foot mark for the T-post here. Work my way down, measuring seven foot off here, off the greenhouse. That's what about the barn is. That's about what the barn is. It makes it look at least halfway decent. This is as far as I've gotten here. You can see I've gotten about four T-posts in. Now I know uh, that kind of seems silly for the time that I've been working out here, but I had to take up two of the four T-posts that I put in because I forgot to run a string. Uh, as you can see here, I'm running the string now, but I forgot to run the string, and that totally threw all the T-posts off. So my fault for doing that, but I had to take them back out. Alright guys, back here day two. It is actually currently sprinkling right now. It is a very rainy, misty, cloudy day, whatever you want to call it. But the work still has to go on. So uh, today I'm out here. I'm going to be working on the T-post back here on the back side of the greenhouse. So I'm going to start off by measuring. Uh, this, so this T-post here is off six feet from the greenhouse. So I'm going to measure the other T-post six feet off the greenhouse down the other side and that'll help me get a straight line for the back of the greenhouse and running down and uh, hopefully it'll go well today hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far and uh, anyways I'm gonna get to work
All right, so let me just explain to you uh, what I have going on here. So we have the side fence here, uh, and that is, you can't even really see it, but that, um, that side fence there along the side of the greenhouse has five T posts there, and then since they're spread 10 feet apart, that'd be 50 feet. Right here, I decided to uh, make something like a, what I want to call something like a compost corner or something like that. Not that I'm necessarily going to be composting uh, to actually make dirt for the market garden, but uh, just somewhere to put all my plant material so I don't just dump it outside of the greenhouse. Uh, I'm working on t posts going down this way, all the way down to that stake down there, and uh, that's what I'm working on today. Just trying to get some more t posts in here. There's really not a whole lot to say here, so I'm just going to keep putting in t posts along uh, down there to the stake and then run over uh, down the side over there. But if I need to talk, I'll come back and talk to you guys. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead, get to work, piling more T-posts in here uh, so I can get this job finished. All right, so now that I have most of this fence done here, I'm onto the corner now. I want to show you something that will hopefully be a game changer for my market garden and the future fences that we put in here. Uh, this is called Wedge Lock. It's a bracing hardware kit for T-posts. So what this does, guys, is it actually uses uh, T-posts to brace the corners instead of using wood posts. So usually you would have a wood post for the corner and then you would brace diagonally with wooden posts onto that wood post. That was a lot of wood posts I just said there. But this allows you to brace with the T-posts you're using. I haven't ever used one of these before, so I'm going to try to figure out how this works. Uh, and then hopefully I'm going to try to install it down here on the corner. And yeah, hopefully it'll work. I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys how it works. And I'll definitely put a link in the description to this uh, wedge lock package here from Tractor Supply. So guys, anyways, um, let's go try to figure this out. All right, so now that I know where I need to pound this T-post in, after I measured the T-post land on the ground, I'm gonna go ahead and pound this in and then work on my hardware for the diagonal brace. All right, so let me show you how this works. So this works like this. So let me take it all apart. All right, so let's start out with this. So right here is a square bracket that slips down over the T-post, like so, and uh, goes between the two bumps, if you would, on the T-post. So that's what the square is for. This square is the whole bracket that holds everything together on the T-post. I'm not really gonna try to explain this too much because there are tons of videos out there that try to actually explain it, but then you have a wedge, slips down on this groove here, the back groove, and slips down into this like this so now that wedge locks the square bracket onto the t-post itself uh, then you actually have the piece where the t-post slides in these grooves here slide up into this uh, punched out area slides up you can kind of feel it when it's done sliding that's how the t-post bracket assembly works uh, so real simple Somewhere it said there are some tabs you could poke out or something, but I don't see any tabs on here. I might just be doing it wrong, but if you don't know what you're doing with the thing, like I, I didn't know what I was doing. I had no idea how to work this whole bracket assembly, so if you don't know how to work it, uh, then I would just recommend going look it on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description to a video that helped me on YouTube, and uh, maybe that'll help you also. Alright, so there's some um, different techniques that help to strengthen your corner brace up, and that is turning all these uh, knobs, I don't really know what to call them, raised areas, bumps. I don't know, I don't know what to call them, but anyways, uh, to turn those knobs, those raised bumps on the T-post, 
toward your corner post. So this one here uh, would need to be turned. I don't think I'm going to do this. I already put this T-post in. The more you take T-posts out and put them in the same spot, then they just aren't as strong. So I'm going to leave that T-post just like it is. It'll work still uh, without being turned. It just won't be maybe quite as strong. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this hardware here. This hardware is, uh, right now it is on the, bot uh, the top of the post and it needs to be on the bottom of the post because this is going to go a diagonal. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that hardware, put the other hardware on that T-post there, and then uh, I'll put that diagonal in and see what it looks like. Alright, so I've never done one of those before. That is how you do it. It is very, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and start working on the fence going down here. There is a lot of water, a uh, puddle of water. I don't really know how that's going to affect how I um, put the T-post in, but I'll just see how it goes. I'm going to start working on this other corner brace here. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do now and get another T-post, get my other T-post, get my other hardware and start working on this uh, corner brace so this whole corner will be nice and firmed up and will be done. So here we go. Alright guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am to have these T-posts in down this row here. That is it I'm going to do on this row here because I want to be able to get the semi in here. It is like a 53 foot long trailer, full of compost, and I want, to have, want the semi truck driver to have enough room pulling in here when we get the compost. So, that means I'm going to go ahead and work over here on the other side of the greenhouse out here. So anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and pack my tools up here and move to the other side of the garden. Alright guys, so I'm just trying to work on some measurements here, uh, trying to line everything up with the greenhouse, and uh, just trying to make everything square as much as I can. I'm good and hot guys, I'm going to go ahead and head inside today, I will see you guys in the morning, hopefully going to come out here and finish up the T-post as much as I can out here. Anyways guys, I'm going to shut it down for today, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Alright guys, it is day three of building the fence uh, and I am out here to try to finish up part one of this fence build today. I have a few more T-posts to put in uh, right down here where I'm standing and then uh, hoping to finish up the bracing on the T-post corner. So I'm picking up three more bracing kits from Tractor Supply. They only had one in stock when we were there on Wednesday and so we're going back today to pick up some more T-posts and those bracing kits. So that's what I hope to finish up today. So I'm not gonna cut the video. I'm not gonna finish the video this morning. I'm just gonna try to put in these two T-posts. Then I'm gonna jump to the afternoon when I brace the rest and then hopefully we'll be done with the video. So the other thing I'm gonna do this morning is, uh, which I actually forgot to say, is I'm just gonna walk around, give you guys a recap of what I've done and uh, show you an overall picture of the whole fence. So, all right, so I just wanna recap on the fence here. We have uh, this side going down. Uh, this is the side closest to the greenhouse. Get my tripod out of the way here. This is the side closest to the greenhouse. Um, so we got that fence there. And then um, as we walk down, down at the end of the greenhouse, uh, we have where I'm going to put my composting uh, area right here, where I'm going to put all my dead plant material. It's kind of hard to see, but basically it consists of three T-posts. So you have one T-post here, here and there. So these, this T-post here is about, uh, those are about three foot apart. And then this one's, I think, eight or 10 feet apart, something like that. So that's the compost corner there. It's kind of hard to see on video. I think it'll even make more sense once I get the fence in. So, all right, so now you have this stretch of fencing here. This goes down the back of the garden. Now I just want to stop real quick and uh, just say again how nice this wedge lock bracing kit was. I am not paid by them to say this, but I really recommend these. If you are doing a T-post fence, it saves you so much time to leave out those other wood fences. Now I'm not saying that a 
T-post corner brace like this would totally re replace a uh, corner brace like you would uh, traditionally do on a fence with wood posts when you don't have to use them and it's not that important. I just want to say how nice it is to use the T-post. So that's a big highlight for me of the fence. We have another stretch of fencing here and this is the side of the garden. Uh, this stretch of fencing is not completed as you can see the stretch will uh, has about three more t-posts to go uh, but other than that i'm going to leave this corner here and the front open there so we can get the so i can get the i'm going to leave that open so i can get the truck to compost in here um like i said in the last i won't say it again but just it's a big truck so i'm gonna be able to get that in here yeah so i just want to give you guys a recap of the uh, fencing and the t-posts that i've gotten in so far but right now i'm going to go ahead and get to pounding in those two other t-posts there and then I'm going to come back in the afternoon, like I said, and finish up all the bracing and everything. I don't know when I might talk after that a little bit, but I'm going to go pound those two T-posts in. Alright guys, back here. So what was supposed to be just the afternoon turned into a couple days later. Uh, that afternoon kind of got a little late out uh, in town and then got back and whatever. Anyways, so now I'm back here. Going to finish up these two corner braces uh, and hopefully going to finish this video out today. Uh, so anyways guys, there's not a whole lot to say. I'm just gonna get right into it. I have Where are they? I have two more of these packages uh, for tractor supply. They couldn't they couldn't get three like I was hoping for They just could get two which is okay. I didn't really need three but anyways guys I'm gonna go ahead and install these uh, on the fence down here and then just right around the corner of the greenhouse All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and install these and uh, Hopefully it goes well and I'll bring you guys along and then we can finish this video out. So here we go Alright guys, that is going to be it for me today. If you guys did enjoy this video, definitely leave a thumbs up. That really helps. And also comment down below. I really want to hear from you guys what you guys think about the wedge lock system that I have uh, shown you guys in this video. I really want to hear from you guys, so comment down below and uh, tell me what you thought about it. Next video will hopefully be plumbing for the greenhouse, hopefully coming next week. I'm going to try to get some more videos out to you guys. Uh, I'm going to try weekly videos for you guys again. Uh, it's been pretty busy trying to finish out the documentary uh, for our friends on the farm for the chickens um, so I'm gonna try to get back to my weekly vlogging uh, but other than that guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, as always I will see you on the next one